right, guys. This is a uh, special edition of Mike's Beer Reviews. Because uh, recently, the brewery, that is actually what it's called, the brewery was recently approved to distribute here in Missouri. And so now we can start getting their beers. Since it's around the holidays, first one I decided to try. This is Nine Ladies Dancing. So yeah, this is Nine Ladies Dancing from The Brewery. It is a uh, American Strong Ale. That's what Beer Advocate calls it. With cocoa nibs, vanilla, coffee, and lactose added. Um, and it is part of a series of, of beers um, called their 12 Days of Christmas series. It is 11.3% alcohol by volume. And it is one, po one pint, 9.4 ounces. And if we look at this uh, description back here, it says... Here's a pick-me-up for the latest verse in our 12 Days of Christmas series. Inspired by flavors and ingredients found in tiramisu, including ladyfingers, Nine Ladies Dancing mimics the Italian dessert by whipping together flavor combinations and layers of its own. This includes notes of vanilla, chocolate, and coffee. Clearly, the leading ladies in this rich dessert-like beer. Store and serve at 50 degrees Fahrenheit, suitable for aging up to three years. But I guess now all I have to do is get as pop this some bitch open. Zombie knife. Want to add this cap to my collection? It's a really nice one. Sorry, I kind of had to set this big ass bottle down. And I'll. Uh, Give you guys a close up here. All right. Just let you guys know, I kind of have a little bit of an aggressive pour, but then again, I probably should have tilted the glass a little bit. So I'm gonna try and breathe up some of the foam, then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. I was able to get some more in the glass. And let's take a look at the beer. So, first glance, almost like a dark crimson color. I can barely see through it, but I do see a bit of carbonation. Uh, looking away from the light, it's almost pitch black. Has almost kind of a dark tan head that's slowly dissipating but it looks good only the minor complaint so I'd guess smell oh yeah that smells really good I'm getting some vanilla almost like a milk chocolate Nice kind of a roasty coffee note as well. Hint of booziness. But yeah, that smells phenomenal. As far as I'm as far as I'm concerned. But cheers guys. The brewery, nine ladies dancing. You do taste a little bit of the 11.3%, but it's not overpowering. The, the beer is still drinkable. A nice, full-bodied American strong ale. Kind of kind of coats the back of the tongue a little bit, but has a nice, sweet, kind of creamy vanilla flavor. Mixed with uh, maybe almost like a bittersweet chocolate. Not too sweet, not too bitter. With a nice kind of, uh, maybe not a hot bitterness, but like a coffee bitterness to kind of help clean that up, clean the flavor up on the back of the palate. That's actually really good. 
as I'm drinking it more, the coffee flavor is starting to come through a little bit. Um, so, so uh, the brewery, Nine Ladies Dancing, glass full. Um, think, I think um, at retail, I think I found this bottle for ten bucks. Um, but <clears throat> excuse me. Most of their stuff is kind of expensive. I think their most expensive bottle is like 22 bucks. And considering that I am a college student on a budget, actually, should I say almost ex-graduated -co uh, college student, uh, that's the reason why I haven't uploaded any videos recently, but I will be uploading this beforehand. But since I'm done with school, I'll have more time to edit and upload the other videos that I have already have recorded. So, yeah. Glassful, they did a good job. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember, if you like, like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back for more.